Welcome to another exciting episode of Skill. I'm your host, King Cooper Jay, and today we're going to be talking about who is Duke Blue Devils' Zion Williamson. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you do not miss a video. With that being said, all my day ones, go ahead and spam that like button and let's get this banger started. Zion Williamson. Now, let's just start from the beginning. You already know how we do it here. His father' name is Latif Williamson. He was a defensive lineman. Yes, a defensive lineman who earned All-America honors for Mayo High School. He ended up committing to NC State, then transferring to Livingston College, where he met Zion Williamson's mother, Sharonda Sampson. Now, his mother was a sprinter who ended up becoming an educational teacher. Okay, so his father is a defensive lineman who earned All-America honors, and his mother is a sprinter. Whew! Anyway, they, they created a monster because by the age five, Zion Williams already knew he wanted to play basketball. His mother and father ended up getting a divorce. She ended up moving, and she remarried a guy named Lee Anderson who will dramatically impact Zion Williamson's life. Now, this guy is a former point guard who played for Clemson. Clemson, and he was heavily involved in AAU and kid act after school activities. <sighs> you know what you got now? You got a guy who is right now Zion Williamson, 6'7, 270 pounds, who should be a defensive lineman like his dad. But now he's a freak athlete. Ooh, mama got them jeans at age five. He was getting trained to become a point guard. Why was he getting trained to become a point guard? I'm going to tell you why. All right, so that guy you see in those highlights, those ball is life, those elite mixtapes, those hoop mixtapes, right? That guy, Zion Williamson, was trained by his mother. All right, so here's the story. He was undersized, right? He was undersized. He didn't grow into his height between until between middle school and high school, and I'm going to get into that later. But he was undersized, so they didn't really think he was going to have the height that his father had because his uh, biological father was 6'5", 250 pounds, and like I said, was an All-American defensive lineman. You would expect this guy to be a tight end or something of the nature. Not happening. The new dad, basketball dad. All right, so he was the one who trained him and enhanced his skills. So that's why you see this six, seven guy running around, dribbling up the court all fast and sprinty like and slamming on everybody with crazy handles. Well, not crazy handles, but really nice handles for a guy his size in that way. So um, when he played, he played against older kids. He didn't play against kids his age. He, he was playing against nine-year-olds. You know, nine-year-olds and ten, you know, in, in, in AAU. So, this didn't do nothing but prepare him for what was to come. Because when he got to high school, I messed up. When he got to middle school, 20 points per game, and he was getting coached by Mom Dukes still. So, not only did she coach him in AAU and, and other youth leagues, she stayed by his side all the way through middle school. That high school prospect or you see now was trained and coached by his mother in middle school in AAU. I can't get this out of my head. I, I, just, I just can't. High school, high school, high school. Oh, it's about to get lit. All right, so let me tell you the story about Zion Williams. Okay, so when he did play AAU, they, they went to the, um no, not went to, they won the title. And this is what happened. Smear was a guy who was in involved in uh, Zion's career and basketball life and all that good stuff. He ended up giving the trophy, presented the trophy to the coach, which is Coach Anderson, Zion's stepfather. Okay, so this is what happened. 
Anderson took the trophy and gave it to Zion because this is something he did when he felt like, you know, well, not just with Zion, but with any player that who he feels like deserved the trophy. It's kind of like an MVP thing, right? So he hands it to Zion. Zion takes it and hands it to another um, teammate, right? So Smarter looks at him and say, hey, he told Anderson, he was like, yo, why did he get a trophy to the other kid? He didn't do nothing. So Anderson said, look, he did do something. Zion gave it to him because he scored two points. That was his first two points of his AAU career in the tournament, right? First two points. Man, I was, man, what? I mean, salute to Zion for doing that. My man gave his first two. Hey, man, way to look out for the little guy, man. It ain't all about yourself. It ain't all about yourself, man. Take notes, man. My man gave it to my man. He only dropped two points. But anyway... That summer, Zion Williams didn't do nothing but train. And you would think, what did he train for, King Cooper J? Did he train to shoot? Did he did he train on his defense? Did he did he train to dribble? None of that. My man trained to dunk. That was it. The whole summer, all Zion did was practice dunking. Dunking, dunking, dunking. 5'9 to 6'3. All he wanted to do was dunk. He 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 basically this kid dunked dunked his way out of South Carolina. Real talk. He dunked his way to college. To do. He dunked his way there. But let me get back to the story. All right, so he enters this freshman year of high school, which is Spartanburg Day School located in South Carolina. All right, so he goes there. He ends up uh, coming out his freshman year earning uh, all region and all state honors. He averaged 24 points. He, 24 points a game, nine rebounds, three steals of three blocks and they say he ain't got defense when we be watching all these crazy highlights when I'm blocking everybody's shot and he also did his black mama thing and got two assists off right that was his freshman year all right so heading into his sophomore year they won the state title and he dropped 32 points in that game all right so he's starting to get some national attention so heading into his junior year heading into his junior year is when we all discovered him well, the majority of us anyway is when we discover him, right? So, he ends up averaging 36 points a game. That was a rewind. That's what you slipped in. That's what was on your shoe. And that explains the abrasion on your palm. Let me run that back for you. Smartly, wise man, boom, smartly, That's what you slipped in. That's what was on your shoe. And that explains the abrasion on your palm. Damn, I'm good. He ends up averaging 36 points a game, 13 rebounds. I had to do like a little rewind for y'all, man, because that was 36 points a game? 36 points a game, 13 rebounds. It's almost hard to get that out, man. You're talking about a guy who averaged 36 points a game. It's either A or B. Either the competition is what, or that dude is a god. Real talk, man. For real, bro. 36. But anyway, they ended up winning the state title again, two years in a row, back to back, and he dropped 51 points in that game. So the attention is hot. He's a YouTube sensation at this point, right? He hoop mixtapes, elite mixtapes, all his life to overtime. Search Zion Williams in YouTube. Millions of views. Self said, millions of views. And you know what? I, I don't want to get sidetracked, but I want to offer you guys some advice. Some of you guys who's putting together these mixtapes, I don't know if you guys got contracts or what or what's going on, but take Kevin Durant's advice. Start a YouTube channel. Richard Sherman, start a YouTube channel. Some of you guys, and I'm sorry to say this and I ain't trying to hate, you, but some of you guys are going to be bust. You know, so why would you let Ball is Life, uh, Elite Mixtapes, and who makes tape? All these other people get mixtapes on you and make money off of you when you can start your own personal channel, vlog uh, about your little basketball career and how you coming up or have somebody do it for you and bank in, cash in, or whatever you doing while you, while you going pro and before you do all that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of having somebody else bank on you because what if you get all there and, you know, uh, what's my man name? Uh, Porter Jr. that just got injured or back injured or something like that, whatever is. And, and and let everything just be gone. Like all these people that made money off of you, now you nobody and, and you have nothing. Start a YouTube channel or do something, man. 
get, get your own exposure out there. Make your own bread, man. Don't let them make money off of you. But anyway, leaving all that. Right? So, Zion was offered all kinds of scholarships, right? And he ended up signing with the Duke Blue Devils June 20th, right? Join the Brotherhood. So, this is the first time in NCAA history that this has happened. You had the number one recruit, the number two recruit, the number three recruit, and the number ten recruit all commit in the same year to one school. That's crazy, man. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think Zion Williamson will be a top five NBA pick, or do you think he will be a bust? See you in the next video. Peace!